Hi everyone, welcome to 3ds Max tutorial. Today we'll be looking into how we could cut sections in 3ds Max and convert them into editable splines. So right in front of you we have a 3ds Max 2014 version interface with the perspective viewport opened in front of you and we also have created a plane so I've just created a plane I can do that again for you so just three so let's go to the create panel and let's create a normal plane click on plane and let's it's a plane so we've created a plane with a lot of segments right now we have around 20 segments each on the length and 20 segments on the width so I've put in some of the segments so that we could more add some modifiers onto it like Greenable for example so we can also get familiar with the modifier to Greenable and Greenable helps us to get a city urban fabric form randomly onto the plane so that's quite an interesting and useful tool so I'll show you how so you just go to modify and when you go down to the modify list you can always get on Greenable but if Greeble is not installed in the software, I can just show you how you can get Greeble. So go to the top menu bar, drop down menu bar, go to customize, go to configure user parts below customize. And here you have external files, you have xrefs. Sorry, so just cancel that and go back to customize and go to configure system parts. Sorry about that. So it's not user parts, it's configure system parts. So when you click on configure system parts, go to third party plugins. So when you go to third party plugins, you have an option here add. So if you click on add, you get a box where you can add what you want, all your external plugins like Greeble or whatever. So I've already added Greeble in the software. So I'm not adding it again and then you just go click OK. Yeah, so that's about adding Greeble. Now if you add Greeble and then you try to find it in Modifier and if you don't find it, so just restart your software again and you could you can find Greeble in it. Yep, so now let's do Greeble on our plane. So I'm going Greeble on the plane. There you go. So that's what Greeble does. Just randomly creates an urban form. It does all the work for you. You don't have to go model each and every space or every space. If you just have a random urban modeling tool, you have Greeble. So if you want to play with Greeble a bit, I can show you that before we do the section cutting. So on the Greeble command panel on the right hand side we have a lot of options and here we can provide the minimum height and the maximum height so here the minimum height is 1 and the maximum height is 10 so let me just increase the minimum height to 10 and I would also increase the max so now this the minimum and the maximum is the same so we have like a very even model for our plane um, so if I increase the maximum height to around 30, let's see what happens. So we get a very dense New York City in front of us. So if we increase it to more than that, it's around 50, we get a proper New York City in front of us with all the shadows. So that's how we do Greebling. It's quite easy. So it's just like an urban modeling tool, which everybody can just do. So now let's go back to our normal 10 and 1 because we would like to do cut sections on it. All right. Also, you can select tops here. Just the tops of the buildings will be selected if you click on this. If you want to click on the sides, you can select sides and yeah. <coughs> You can also do a Greeble on Greeble. So I've selected sites here. So go up to modifier and if I do a Greeble again, it might get your system a bit slow. So yeah, but that doesn't see that's a Greeble on Greeble, which is quite interesting. Wow. So it has done Greeble on the side. So that's why it looks like this quite even flat. So you can also do Greeble on 
when you select the top so let me just just delete that and let's come back to what we were doing so I've just deselected the tops and the widgets so you can always click on whatever widgets you don't you didn't want the widgets on top of the buildings you know what type of buildings you can just undo it and you won't get any widgets at all so this is like a, an urban form without any widgets at all so yeah I can go back to that so let's click on all the widgets again to make it the normal size yeah <laughs> you can also mod increase or decrease the size of the widgets here yeah you can also increase the height of the widgets here so that's what happens in Glebo this looks like a lot of spikes on top of all the buildings looks quite interesting all right so that's about Greenville. Now let's go into what we actually wanted to do. So we would like to cut a section on this urban city form. So in order to cut a section, let's go back to create and go to shapes. So below shapes, we have an option called section. So let's click on section and let's click on the section plane so I'm just creating by clicking and dragging on the screen I've created a section plane yep I've created a huge section plane here and clicking on the section plane I'm going to select the section plane here and I would like to rotate it because I would like to get a vertical section so I'm going to go with the rotate tool and rotate the section so here we are rotating the section to a 90 degrees sorry about that so we have yeah so almost we have to take the section we have got a section so we can see the small yellow line in between yeah that's the section line and that's actually started cutting off already through the entire building model so the section plane has cut a section now so in order to get this section as an editable spline just click on it click on the section select it just go select the section and go to modifiers and just below the section we have section parameters and below parameters click on create shape so you have a shape here so now you've already created a shape so where you've cut the section you've created a shape so just click on the section on sorry on the shape and you can just move the shape or you can I'm going to press shift and I'm going to move it so I get a copy of the shape so there you go that's your section I'm just creating a copy not an instance so that's a copy of the section so that's so that is an editable spline you can always do editing on the spline change it according to how you want it because it's an editable spline yeah so you have created a section and you can also create section you can cut through plans as well the same way so again click on global click on the plane you can go to create do a section again so that becomes another section line just gonna create a section here and I'm gonna move it up so let's move the section up so we get a plan section yes yeah, so we've got that and I've got all yellow lines running around to form the plan for Greeble so we've cut a section or uh, we've got a plan on our plane so that's good so just go there do modifier on it and when you go to modify just create shape 
just how we did for the other one and it's creating a shape for us it's creating the plan for us yep we've got the plan right here click on it and sorry I've just clicked on click on this plan here yep we've clicked on the plan that's an editable spline and we can just copy and move it so I'm gonna press shift sorry I've moved the wrong spline sorry so just go back click on the spline here yeah we've selected the spline click on the spline here and just select to move it yep yeah. so you can just do that the same way you did for the other one Yep, we've got the spine again. Oops. So, let's do this. There you go. There you've got your plan. Finally, yes. So, here's the plan. So, we have the Greeble model. Now, we have the plan. So, you've got, you've cut a plan and you've also cut a section on the Greeble so that's all for today's video tutorial hope you've enjoyed the tutorial doing greeble and we have cut sections and made it into editable splines thank you for listening thank you